Hello everyone and welcome back to Jilly's Nails. I hope you're here for chicken nails because that's what we're doing today. Bok bok. There is a YouTuber who has a site called Chickenlandia. I'm very inspired by her. This plate I bought just because of her to do chickens. And it is a layered stamping plate from Uber Chic. The thing that I think is really cool about this is it's huge and you're going to see a size comparison in a second to a maniology plate, but also that it has arrows that kind of point and go, hey, this color, this color, and this, like these go together. Um, so it's really a neat design and I love this little chicken face on her shirt. This is from the Time Machine collection from Maniology. Um, I think there's still a couple of those plates left, I'm not sure. And because this plate is so large and has so many images on it, I'm just going to go through and put little dots next to the images I think I'll use. And while I'm doing this project with the chickens. If you guys are interested in backyard chicken raising at all, you have to go look at Chickenlandia. She, her name's Dahlia, she's hilarious, she's really sweet, and she has the best personality on the planet. You should go watch her. She went to a chicken parade, y'all. This girl loves chickens, so um, if you're interested at all, she's really inspiring. And look how cute that little chicken is. Isn't it not adorable? I love it. I think it's precious. I'm going to go in with Endless Blue from Sinful Colors. Uh, you can get away with one coat on this. I did go ahead and do two across all of the nails. Just as a little bright base to make those white and yellow chicken colors pop. So that is what this looks like on all of the nails with two coats. And I'm going to go through and quickly put a top coat on everything. This is Setch V Quick Dry. I'm not mad at it today, so today we're using it. You know, I go back and forth. I get moody with it. Sometimes it's great. Sometimes I get real mad. It's such a beat. <laughs> it likes to shrink, and sometimes it doesn't play well with other polishes, and it will make them peel. But I know that this combo with this brand works fairly well together. This is Orange Peel from Maniology. It's no longer available. Um, I would not honestly recommend that for this design again. It did not, it's not very opaque. Um, Maniology has more opaque polishes than this right now. So um, while it is a pretty color, it's not very opaque. It's kind of thin. So we're going in with coconut to color in the eyes. And what I'm doing here is using a matte polish for the eyes that's a little bit darker in color. And then I'm going to go in with Frozen for the rest of the chicken head. And it's more of a pearlescent sheen to it. I couldn't figure out any other way to really make the eyes pop without just letting them be the blue background. And I actually really like how it came out, so I hope you enjoy that too. Now I'm going in first with this layered stamp, and we're stamping the body of the chicken. The only bad thing about this plate, in my opinion, is that these images are so close together, you pick up a bunch of mess. There's just no way to avoid it. So you're always having to go in and tap and kind of clean off your stamper. But look how cute that little chicken is. And now I'm going in to grab the feet and the beak. They really just look like little dots under the main body, but they are spread out exactly to line everything up for yourself so that you can just go in and stamp it. But it's so freaking tiny. I had to be very careful when I was taking the other stuff off not to accidentally take off the feet and the beak. But it's cute. Look, see, I'm freaking out about putting it down. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not going to do it in the right place because I can't see it because it's so tiny. And I'm getting old and I need new glasses. And I need to actually wear my glasses if I'm going to use that for an excuse. Um, anyway, <laughs> then we go in on top with the outline. And I'm just doing a black because I know it'll show up on all of this. And it makes the cutest little chicken on the planet. It's adorable. I love him. I want to squish his little chickeny cheeks. I, I have Elmira complex. Does anybody remember Elmira from Tiny Toons? Um, I love Elmira, and I'm totally Elmira, without the bone skull, because I don't actually kill them, but I make all my pets crazy with attention. I don't know why I'm talking crazy. It's quarantine. It's quarantine. <laughs> I'm stir crazy and sleep deprived. So the orange did not come out very well when I stamped it, so I just went back in 
and dotted it in with my little nail art brush. The other chicken head stamp is dry, so we're gonna go ahead and lay that one down. I'm trying to find this perfect timing between just dry enough that it doesn't smear, but not so dry it doesn't wanna come off. Um, Cause I don't really like to apply another sticky, like just a sticky base layer. For me, I find that that tends to make them smear more often, so I don't like to do it if I don't have to. And I did go back in with a color called Cherry Bomb and just kind of poke some combs, uh, some red into the comb on top of that chicken's head. The orange just really wasn't showing too much. And now we're going to go in with this little um, chick coming out of an egg. I'm using that color Frozen again. Such a cute design. I love these chickens. I can't take it. Like, <laughs> they're so cute. Never in my life did I think I would do a chicken manicure, and once the idea got into my head, I was obsessed. Bought the plates immediately. We're having chickens. Uh, when I first did this one, <laughs> I did not think it through very well, and I stamped the body and everything together, but the nose is actually in the middle, and you're supposed to layer the chicken on top of the shell. So you do kind of have to plan this out a little bit and think it through the order that you're going to do everything in and make sure that you're actually doing that as you're stamping. Like, layered stamping is a little bit of a thinker. Um... Not that it's especially difficult, but you do have to pay attention to what you're doing. It's very easy to screw it up. And, like, I put it on my nail and looked down and went, what in the heck? And I need to take it all off of that index finger and start it over. I think that's why I actually finished the other two nails first. So I'm going back in and lining up that little teeny tiny beak. The little tiny tiny orange beak and then have to put a dot in anyway. So I should have just saved myself in trouble but it's still very cute. Look at that, I went through and stamped his little outline too. So he is all finished up, I love him. They're so stinking cute. I'm gonna go in with just a regular top coat after those have had some time to dry. It is the Setch Bead again. And what I'm doing is just making sure to float the polish across the nail so it does not smear. You, ha There's two reasons why polish smears. You're not letting it dry long enough. Even though it is a stamping polish, it still has dry time. And the second one is for um, not floating polish and kind of dragging your brush across the nail. You can't do that on these. I grabbed this alphabet plate from Clear Jelly Stamper. I saw somebody else use this and I thought, that is insane, who has time to do all of those letters? And then the other part of my brain went, and I need to try this and loved it because there have been so many times that I've been like oh it'd be really cute to put this on there put that on there and I did not have a single stamping plate out of my entire collection that had those words so the ability to just go in and pick which size letter you want and to be able to stamp that I love this plate I love it and clear jelly stamper has these in I don't know three or four different types of lettering like there's some more script style styles on them um, there's some that are a little more blocky it's definitely worth checking out and honestly if you are a beginner and looking for something really quick and fairly inexpensive to get letters I would recommend this plate in a heartbeat just because while they are definitely a certain style of letter to them they're clear they're concise they would go with a lot of manicures it's a great plate Clear Jelly Stamper's plates have really been impressing me. The jury's still out on the black, which is what I did use for the outline, by the way, on these today. Um, so I'm still playing with it and experimenting before I give my official seal of approval. But the polish did not smear at all when I went over it with top coat, so... Balk. Balk! And the reason that I did that is, again, Chicken Landia has a show <laughs> on her channel called Balk Talk. It cracks me up. I love it. She has my sense of humor. It's adorable. I love her. You should go watch her. I'll link her below. And to finish everything off, I did go ahead and put a matte top coat on. I wasn't sure on this one. I kind of went back and forth because of the pearlescent tones and things to it. But I really feel like it made it photograph a lot better. And then I am kind of going around and cleaning up some cuticles because I got a little messy messy there. And that is the finished look for these nails. I really hope you like them. And I really hope you'll go and check out Chickenlandia. She makes great, really cute chicken videos. If you have any questions, drop them below. 
Thanks so much for watching and click in the right corner to watch another video.